Good morning, hot dogs. Welcome to the morning announcements. Sports, weather, building trades projects, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Construction of this year's house for the building trades project started the first day of school. The project home is located in the new Southridge subdivision phase two. Students from Frankfurt, Clinton Central, and Clinton Prairie meet in the morning and afternoon for sessions with Mr. Darren Longnecker at the site for hands-on instructions. The nearly 1,500 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home is for sale and will be ready for occupancy in June of 2022. Price is dependent upon many of the finished selections a buyer may choose, but is projected to be in the mid 200,000s. Parties interested in purchasing the house should contact Frankfurt High School at 765-654-8545 and request a call back for more specific information. Now to weather and sports. Good morning. It was a little chilly with it being 59 degrees this morning, but it's finally starting to feel like fall. The high for today is 78 degrees, and it will be, it will be a little windy in the afternoon with the winds reaching 11 miles per hour. Later tonight, it will drop down to 54 degrees. You may also experience some small showers of rain later tonight. That's it for the weather, not to sports. Thanks, David. The boys' tennis team travels South Mall on Tuesday evening. The rain held off as the very seasoned experienced Mounties took control early in the matches. The dogs had moments of good rallies and were able to win a few games from Southmont during their match. For golf news, the girls golf team took on Clint Central at Tipton on senior night. Emily Shipley led the way shooting a 45 and Kristen Shipley shot a personal best of 53. Great job ladies! Now for soccer. Yesterday evening, the late hot dog soccer team travels South Mont for their second conference game of the year and look at bounce back after losing last week. The long road trip seemed to impact the late dogs as it just didn't seem right. Ready to go at the start of the game. Let the Mounties control most of the action, doing well enough to keep them off the board but always under pressure. The Mounties finally broke through about 18 minutes into the game with a goal to make it 1-0. The halftime scores 2-0 when Vanessa, the goalie, misread the speed of the ball with 17 minutes left to play. Lightning entered the area and the officials halted the game to see if it would pass through and let the conference game finish. However, with waiting almost 20 minutes in the severe weather getting closer to the game, it was called official since the half had been completed. With the loss, the late hot dogs fall 3-5 on season and 1-1 one in one conference play. The late hot dogs are back in action this Saturday at 10 a.m. against Hamilton Heights. Let's catch up with the boys' soccer team, Coach Butler, and his captains last week with Nelson. Let's see what they had to say. After going 2-0 against conference rivals, I was able to catch up with the boys' soccer team, Coach Butler, and his captains. Here's what they had to say. It always feels really good to be undefeated in conference. Um, it's so competitive. It's uh, you can drop you can you drop one game and your hope and your best bet is that you, you're going to tie somebody for a conference championship. Um, you drop two games and you're really hoping that a miracle could kind of happen as far as um, still being in the top two, three, top half of the conference. Even um, really with with it's it's so competitive. So. Um, We've never run the table, at least as, as me being the head coach of Frankfurt. So it's, it's, it's always nice to continue having that undefeated streak in conference and uh, controlling our own destiny. Some goals for this season would be um, competing with some of our top conference teams, like try to show what we are as like Frankfurt soccer, try to play for soccer. And uh, also one of, one of my goals is to try to when we come to an invite and look forward to sectionals and as a team just try to bring our chemistry up. The team's looking good, like but we had like some struggles in the beginning because we had some people like out for COVID. But we have we're two and on conference, so that's good. And we're looking to win a conference uh, title. Our next home game is going to be against Southmont on September 14th. Uh, we're in Southmont is a conference gaming as well, so it'd be great to you guys could come out and 
support the boys, and hopefully we'll get another win and stay undefeated in conference. Kickoff's going to be at 5.30. Thanks, Nelson. If you didn't know, the volleyball game will be on the Hot Dog Network YouTube channel. It will be partnered with the IC Sports Network, so go and check it out tonight as they will play the Tri-West. Now, back to your hosts. If you're interested in Best Buddies and have not signed up, or if you already signed up, come to the call-out meeting tomorrow, September 9th, after school in room 205. You will be able to learn more about Best Buddies and have a chance to ask questions and concerns about the club. If you're interested in applying for Crash, sign up while you can. The deadline is September 14th. Crash Club was founded in 2012 to raise awareness around issues that affect the Latino community. Support students pursuing higher education, bridge the gap of communication and understanding between the English speaking and Spanish speaking communities, provide community service and collaborate with community partners to enrich the experiences of youth in our school corporation. If you have any questions, feel free to email Mrs. Johnson. That's all for the announcements today. Two more days, then it's the weekend, thankfully. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe for more and have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow.